What is up here YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here today. Just making a video because um, I've been thinking about it. Um, we're at that point now guys. The regular season is over and we are heading into the playoffs. And the other day I was talking to my dad about I haven't really been negative all season, but I've been kind of um, losing faith, I guess, in the Eagles going forward. Um, and I was just talking to my dad the other day, and he was explaining to me about the defense, you know, why they're so good. And he was saying that I was a hostile fan, and at first that really kind of pissed me off, but the more I thought about it, you know, he's kind of right. Even if you disagree with the team, um, putting out the negative vibes on Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube, so that these players can see it. Um, just think about it from your perspective, guys. You're trying to do something big in your life, and you've got doubters everywhere. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna weigh on you, and it's gonna affect you. So, I was just thinking that you know maybe us as fans, you know, we we really are kind of hostile here in Philadelphia you know the Eagles fan base is known to be very um, picky and hostile but you know we have home field advantage throughout the playoffs so if we can't show up and be positive for this team there is no advantage guys so I really really think that the mentality in the fan base needs to change um, we are all we got, we are all we need. That was the motto that was used all season from the Eagles. And that includes the fans. I don't think that just means the team. That means the fans, the link, Doug Peterson, everything about the Eagles right now. So basically, I'm going to just stop being negative. I'm going to make videos on here um, explaining how I feel. But I'm going to just stop being down in the dumps about this team. It's a big unknown, could go either way, but the Eagles still have a chance, guys. And the more I think about it, I'm really starting to think that we're going to see good Nick Foles going forward. And I'm starting to think that maybe he, I'm not saying they like threw the games, but I don't think Doug Peterson opened up the playbook as much as he could have during the Oakland and the... Um, Especially not the Cowboys game. The Cowboys game was like a preseason game, guys. Um, you can get mad about that one all you want, but it really didn't matter in the long run. And if the Eagles end up do making a Super Bowl run and winning the Super Bowl, no one's going to care that we lost to Dallas in Week 17. So, um, yeah, I just think that the Eagles have not shown their entire hand yet. And I think that... They will in the coming once we hit the playoffs, and I think that there's going to be some surprise for the for whatever team is coming. From what I've seen, it's going to be an NFC South team. I will probably make a video once um, that team is revealed, just to give my analysis of what it is. It could be the Panthers, it could be the Falcons, or it could be the Saints. From what I'm seeing, um, I don't think it could be the Rams or the Vikings, but we'll have to just see. I'm not 100% sure on how that works. So, um, But yeah, guys, I guess, you know, like I said, the message of this video is try not to be a hostile fan. I know, and I'm not saying anyone's like a bandwagon. I hear Eagles fans, like I've been looking at YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. I've been really kind of paying attention to Eagles fans the past couple months. And mainly ever since Carson Wentz went down, that's when, that's when this fan base really kind of, you know, and I was, I was really sad when Wentz went down, but I didn't lose hope because, you know, we have Nick Foles. He, he was the guy in 2013, so I, I was always just saying, you know, that, that guy was our quarterback back then. We loved him as much as we love Wentz. Okay, maybe not that much, but still, like, we, he was the guy. <laughs> But yeah, I've just seen a lot of negativity, man. It's like people are already throwing in the towel. I remember as soon as Wentz went down, people were giving up. And then we won the game and people were, it's like, this is why they vote us the worst fan base. I'm starting to think, I mean, we are passionate fans, but at the same time, we can be very negative for, um, I mean, it, I wouldn't say no reason, but you know. We're just a very negative fan base. We want it now, and you know, we, we have suffered. 
But, you know, we're not the Bills. We're not the Vikings. We're not the Lions. We're not the Browns. I mean, the Eagles have more to show in their history than those teams do. I mean, the Bills, they lost four Super Bowls in a row, guys. Let that sink in. They went to four straight Super Bowls. That's almost five years of championship football that you're losing. So think about that one. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, hate on the Bills or anything. This is just facts. Okay, we don't have that bad of history with our team. Um, the Eagles have lost two Super Bowls. That's basically what we are dealing with. We're similar to, like, there's another team that's, like, very similar to us. I can't think of them right now. I think it's like um, Atlanta, something like that. You know, we're on that level where we've been, just haven't won. Or Carolina, they're another one. They've been to two, lost two. Um, so, yeah, basically just don't lose faith in the team, guys. We're going to see what happens. This is exciting. We got home field advantage. The freezing cold. Nick Foles even said in his press conference yesterday, you know, they're getting more used to the cold now. But other teams aren't. So... They're going to be like in two weeks' time, guys. I really just think this is going to be fine. That's a long time from now that they get to prepare. So, what is it? January 13th is when they're supposed to play. Yeah, that's like they got so much time, guys. They literally got two whole weeks to get ready for this. So, um, anyway, I've rambled on enough, guys. I'll just ask this question of you. Um, could you be willing, if you are one of those fans that's having some doubt, could you maybe be willing to throw that aside for the remaining of the remainder of this season and just have the mentality that I'm having is just let's see what this team can do. Let's see where this team can go. Let's see what they can give us, you know. Let's have faith in Nick Foles. Let's believe in the defense again. Um, even guys would, we're not liking. Torrey Smith, you know, just believe in all of them. Just have faith they can do it. Doug Peterson, have faith that him and Carson Wentz and uh, Frank Reich can come up with a new scheme. Don't let the, all these coach hirings um, distract you too much as well because that's going to happen probably no matter what we do. No point in worrying about that. Obviously, I will make videos when things happen and give my opinions on it, but um, it's not something to, to just like worry about. So, that's what I ask of you guys, you know, be a positive fan, be it, be like a Colts fan. <laughs> they're always positive, even when they're not positive. So anyway, guys, that's the video. What do you think about the Eagles going forward? I'd be interested to see if you guys comment down below. Um, are you leaning towards this team winning in the Super Bowl or in the playoffs and maybe getting to the Super Bowl? Um, whatever you guys think, you know, comment down below. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. If you think that I'm wrong here, you know, dislike it. Let me know in the comments. I don't mind. If you think this team is doomed. Um, and then also, guys, subscribe to the channel. I do this stuff regularly now. I do a lot of Eagle stuff during the season. I'll do off-season stuff. So if you're new to the channel, you know, hit that subscribe button. And um, as always, guys, I just want to thank you for watching this video, for watching my channel. For being an Eagles fan like I am, best team in sports. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby. We are all we got. We are all we need in 2017. We are now in 2018. And let's go out and get it done, guys. You have a good one.